been a million miles away, but you've been in my heart. Hi guys, What's up? we are the interesting and thickest. It's time for some cool constructions. Vacation is over and it means it's time to build something extraordinary in larger scale that you would love to see. And we will start with the coolest and the most dangerous experiment project. Two-story house on a tree. And if you're not subscribed to our channel, do it right now by clicking the button below. And we get started. <laughs> well, apart from this video, here we are planning to film another four-week project and build a real ficus land here. What is it? It was a monkey. <laughs> These are all self-taping screws. We thought for a very long time what to put on the floor. Wooden planks or oysby sheets. <laughs> Whoa, that's great! As you can see, we are making the first floor framework. I'm already waiting for it when it's ready and we'll wall it. Actually, it's turning out really cool and we already have an idea for the bottom part which is left here. While I was walking through the forest for a while, taking pictures of different herbs and grasses, I found such a thing, which shouldn't be here in the forest at all. And this thing gave me a feeling as if we are in Chernobyl, because it really looks strange in the middle of the forest. I'm talking about this kid slide in the form of a horse. It's simply under the bushes in the forest. And this is not the only thing that is here, there are still some more things behind it, some kind of statues or something. It reminds me of some big checkers. Well, actually, they are leprechauns. Well, fellas, our second floor is almost ready. We need to put the last beam and we can start making the saline. It would have an awesome if the house could move like a lift to the top of the tree and one could look down on everything. Now I'm going to connect these slats with each other using a bar. It passed a crash test. Now we are four of us here and so the second floor must withstand. Today we have the third day of filming and today we have a task to untangle these ropes and then to tighten our roof up. Yeah, I'm standing in our workplace at the tallest of all. Wow, I'm on the top of the world. I'm really at the high of about 5 meters. I can't even imagine how we will make a three-story house in the next video. Well, we haven't told you yet that if you give us in this video a lot of likes, then we will make a three-story house on the tree. Because is sitting over there. Finally, some physical exercise after a long rest. Here is my work of art, the ladder of 2018. From below it seems so low, but in fact here it's quite high. Here I can hide from interesting to do nothing. We want our house to be completely made of natural materials, so we choose such reeds. <laughs> How did you get in there? I was there from the very beginning. Are you kidding? I fell down. I should have filmed it. What do you think, guys? How many such dry reeds are there in one roll? Wow, it looks so cool! Amazing! Here, everything is turning out so authentic. I feel like a bee in a hive. I hope you don't have a claustrophobia there. Well, it might start soon. <laughs>
Opa! We decided not to make a door here, but to leave a trap door at the bottom. It's already dark and mosquitoes are all around, so we'll go home, but tomorrow we're gonna have lots of fun. Today is the fourth day, the final day of our filming of Treehouse. It looks amazing in the daylight. Yesterday when it was dark, it didn't look so spectacular. But now I'll show you the inside view of the house. Here we have the first floor. I really like our choice with the walls. The fact that we chose the reeds because it gives a warm and pleasant feeling and the sun rays that enter here fills the house with a very positive atmosphere. Alright, now let's go to Sergei and see what's going on at the top. Damn, it looks great. I'm making the roof also from reeds because I think it's gonna be cool. Save me! Please help! Prepare board into heaven! Our house will be lighting up with such a light bulbs. In order to create a forest atmosphere in the house, we collected some conifer cones, now we'll paint them and use as a decor. I'm now being prepared for the challenge. This spray will save me from the mosquitoes, mites and all that. I leave the TV on, I'm done with your sad eyes. I can take another night with you on like this, so let's go. Well, actually, I planned to make a chandler, but it turned out a sconce. Welcome to our tree house. Now I'm gonna show you what we have got here because it turned out very atmospheric. One small detail can also make a house fully fledged. I'm talking about these wooden swarves that we took. The house turned out absolutely natural and so foresty. Here we have wooden swarves, stumps, and conifer pines all around. And you know what? Here it feels so fresh. The smell of pine trees and grasses. By the way, the first floor is our bedroom, because we have got a bed here, on which I'm sitting now. Here we tried to make the most cozy and comfortable room. We placed some candles which will light up in the evening and also some grasses. I really like it and hope so do you and you'll hit the thumbs up. All right, let's climb to the second floor and see what's there. Here we have my creative wall scones and we also have a roof on which possibly in the next video we'll make a beautiful observation deck. Next we have got such a stump on which there is a jar with conifer cones placed and we have an ottoman here on which I'm sitting and then there's a barrel and one more stump and guess what's placed on the barrel? This is an elastic pickers tree which I've got as a tattoo as well. Here everything is holding onto one tree? Yes, it's crazy! To be honest, I have a strange feeling. Look who we got here. People say it's good to let enter a cat first. But we have a duck. <laughs> How do you feel here, Dima? Because we had a deal that I will be on the second floor. Guys, we are now three of us on the second floor. It says what? That the house is very reliable. If you want to see a couple more floors on this house, then write in the comments. Like the I've been a million miles away But you've been in my heart down all this time hidden away I'm not waiting It's probably the coolest house we've ever built The most comfortable, the most positive and the most atmospheric one If we get a lot of likes in this video then we will make the third floor on this house We are really afraid of this but we will do it So don't forget to hit the likes Leave your comments below Subscribe to the channel and click the bell icon so that you don't miss our new videos. Thanks for watching. See you soon. Bye.
Blah, blah.